Shalom, shalom to the elect of Yasha Allah. This is your brother Pawaria coming back at you from Great Millstone Des Moines with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is Depart from this world in order to be a part of the next world to come. And the next world to come is the kingdom of heaven that the Lord has promised to his chosen people. And the Lord is not coming back for those that is attached to this world or want this world to continue on. Like from the highest class of our people to the lowest class of our people, they want this place to continue on or they're attached to this place some kind of way. Like starting with your high class people like your 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 Kanye West, and all these celebrities, you know what I'm saying? They they find out that they are Hebrew Israelite and then they they turn around and, and apologize to their enemy. Man, that's some BS, man. All right. And even to the, the middle class of our people, they they got them a, a, a good job. They might have their own business. And, and, and they just want this place to continue on, you know, and even down to our lowest class people, these, these niggas, these low level, these low level niggas, man, they find out they, they are Hebrew Israelite and, and they, they, they don't, they deny it. They reject it. That's why that's Hosea four and six tell you what's going to happen with them, you know, happen to all of these, these these ones that reject the Lord in this word. Cause I heard it's some nigga that uh said he don't want to be a Hebrew Israelite. He claimed that he's a nigga. That's a ignorant nigga, man. Alright? That's what he he he's happy at, at being a happy nigga. As long as he got his blunt or whatever, man, the things of this world, he's happy, man. But the true men of the Lord. Man, we are vexed in this place. We hate this place and we want it to end, man. Because we know that this, this is not our rest. All right. It tells you in Hebrews 13 and 14. For here we have no continual city, but we seek one to come. So we're seeking the kingdom that's about to come. Not here, man. That's telling you here is not the place to be. This is not our rest. So there's no need to be trying to invest in this place for the long haul, man, so that you can give your inheritance to your kids, your grandkids, your and their kids and grandkids, all of that. Nah, man, that's hey, this place is not going to last long enough to for that, man. This place is at the very end. We should be storing up our treasures in heaven. All right. So uh let's get uh let's get John fifteen and verse eighteen and it reads It says If the world hates you ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. See, so we know that this world is going to hate us, man. Because we, we're, we're, hey, because this, this, this world is not about the truth. This place is all, this world is nothing it, it, it's all about lies and deceit and wickedness. And that can't get along and dwell together with, with the truth and righteousness. All right. It can't it, it, it can't do it, man. So it's going to come a time that they're going to come up against this truth. And that's why, hey, and that's what they, they, they're doing, man. They, they're trying to set up their they little ways on how they're going to come up against this truth and, and try to uh, 
you know, persecute the, the, the true men of the Lord for bringing out the truth and, and, and calling it hate speech. You know what I'm saying? Calling us extremists. You know what I'm saying? All these words, uh, and, and, you know what I'm saying? To try to, to uh, take this truth away. But you can't do nothing for this truth but for the truth. Right? So, hey, yes, we do hate this world. And, and like it tells you um, in 1 John 2 and 15. So just like the world hate us, we hate this world. This is 1 John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So you can't love this world and love and, and love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And love this word, this truth. It's impossible. It, it, it's impossible, man. Unless you just, uh, you you plan, you want you want the best of two worlds. But hey, hey, you either all the way in, you all the way out. It ain't no in between, none of that, man. Ain't no lukewarmness, none of that. You either hot or you cold. You either right or you wrong. There ain't no in between of this, man. All right. Also, like when they tell you in James 4. What's that? James 4 and 4. What does it say? It says, Ye adulterers and ye adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high power? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high power. So, hey, you try to be a friend of this world, you try to be a friend with your enemy. Man, the the Lord got enemies, man, too. And the same one you trying to be friends with is the Lord's enemy. All right? And the Lord is coming to destroy his enemies. So if you join hand in hand with him, you, hey, you guilty as charged, man, trying to trying to hold hands with your enemies. So who you going to fear, man? Hey, you going to fear man or you going to fear the Lord? All right? So, hey, it's the time for us to, man, to, hey, you should have been it done, departed from evil. Okay? Because it tells you in Isaiah 59 and 15, it says to depart from evil. Uh, uh, let's just get it. Isaiah 59 and 15. And it says, uh, Yea, true fellow, and he that depart from evil make of himself a prey and the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So when you depart from, from evil, you become a prey man in this place, man. They don't mind you being a nigga, a thug, you know what I'm saying? Calling yourself African American or, uh, or just a nigga. You know what I'm saying? All these bad words, they don't trip off that, man. But once you call yourself the chosen people, the Hebrew Israelites, then now it's a problem. Which which should tell you, man, this is the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This right here is the truth, man. And it ain't no... Man, and you can't let it go. Alright? If you truly believe in this word, you're not going to let it go. You're not going to appease your enemy by apologizing for who you are for who the lord made you to be you know that's nonsense man and you can't fear this devil man all right uh like what the scripture says man don't fear the man that can kill the body but fear the one that can kill the body and the soul all right that's who you should be fearing man
But here it is, our people, they want to continue on in this place. They want to have a, a, a good, successful life, man. And and, and and would do whatever it takes to to hold that lifestyle or to reach that lifestyle, man. But when you read Matthew 16... In verse 26, Yahweh Shai said, For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So what will it profit you, man, if you just gain this whole world? You know what I'm saying? You got all the riches. All the bitches, all I mean, everything, man, you want at your at, at your hands, man. That ain't gonna profit nothing when the Lord come and destroy this place. All right, it ain't gonna profit you nothing. Your riches is not gonna profit you nothing when the Lord come with His wrath to this place. So it will behoove you to man to to follow after the Lord, man. Trust in the Lord, repent. And live your life according to the way the Lord want us to live, man. Alright? Cause hey man, we the Lord promised us this kingdom, man. Alright? He promised this to his people. That's it. That's the inheritance that he's gonna give to his people, man. Alright? Like it tells you in 2 Peter 3 and 13, man. Uh, we looking for a new heaven and a new earth wherein wherein dwelleth righteousness. This place do not dwell nothing but wickedness, death. We want life, man. All right. So we know we're going to be hated. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says, marvel not if the world hates you, man. So look, hey, we don't give a damn, man. Whoever hate, hey, hate me. I'd rather be, well, how they say that in the world? I'd rather be. Hate it for who I am than to be loved for someone that I'm not. So, hey, man, I, hey, hate me all you want, you know? But, hey, man, once again, our people, man, they too far gone in this world. And ultimately, they don't think that they must don't believe that there's a, a world to come after this, a kingdom to come. They think this is all it is, you know? But, uh, yeah, let's get, um, uh, this is Proverbs 16 and verse 6. It says, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So if you fear the Lord, man, you're going to depart from evil. You're going to depart from your old ways, that old person that you once, you once was. You're going to depart from the things of this world. Why? Because you truly fear the Lord, man. You truly know that the Lord is on his way to bring judgment and salvation. And uh, he's about to come bring uh, destruction and salvation to this place. So and that grace period is almost out, man. The grace period is running out. So this is the time to a hey, to get right, man. And stay right. Ain't no going back. And forth and going back into the world and none of that, man. Alright. What's that scripture? Uh, uh, no, it's one. It's in Peter. Uh, it's like you. But no, let me see. I know it's one in Hebrews 6 and 4. About drawing back. 
But the one I wanted to get, Second Peter's. Uh, let's see, Second Peter's two and twenty. It says, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. All right. So here it is, man. The Lord has has has. Uh, Allowed you to receive this, hear this word and receive this truth so that you may be able to pollute, uh, to escape the pollution of this world and, and the things that's about to come to this place. But then you, hey, you find yourself going back into the world, being entangled with the things of this world, man. Your latter end is going to be worse. OK. This is a scary thing, man. And the Lord, hey, he is not playing no games. The Lord is coming back angry. And, and that's it, man. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean it it ain't no ain't no drawing back, you know. It ain't no going back into the world. We gotta keep our our, uh, our eyes on the prize. You know, like when you driving a car, man, you got to keep your eye on the road because if you turn, if you get your, if you take your eyes off the road for too long, man, you're going to crash into something. So we got to keep our eyes single. We got to be uh, single eyed, man. You know, like tunnel vision. And we got to continue in this faith and, and, and endure to the end and, and not allow nothing in this world to uh turn us back you know or to lose our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai all right so uh yeah that was that was pretty much it you know that was pretty much you know uh let's see what this sums one forty nine and four gotta say. It says Psalms one forty nine and four. It says, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Alright, so the Lord is coming back for the ones that are humble, the ones that are meek. And the scripture says that the meek shall inherit the earth. So that's the ones that the Lord coming back for to give them salvation, man. Everybody else about to be destroyed, man. Even two thirds of it, of of the Lord's own people is about to get destroyed, man. All right. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, like it tells you in Galatians uh, six and nine, we shall reap if we faint not. So we can't get weary in this. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's hard, man. Living in this world. And you, you, you can't get. You, you can't be happy in this world, man. You can't get comfortable in this place. It, all this is all temporary, man. You know, ain't no, no true happiness in this place. You can't even truly enjoy your family, man. You, your kids. You know what I'm saying? The, the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to work. Got this, that, and the other, you know, in this place. So, hey, this place got to end, man. All right. Let's get, let me get a uh, second address. Uh, I'll read this real quick. Second address eight and one. It says, and he answered me saying the most high made this world for many. But the world to come for a few. So the world to come is for few, man. That's what makes it so precious. All right. Because when you have, if it's something that you got, is that, that is uh, plenteous, 
it ain't it don't make it precious. You know what I'm saying? You know, so this world to come is for few, man. That's the that's the Lord's chosen people, man. All right, it's a beautiful thing, man. Let's turn. Let's uh, read this. Let's end it off with this second address six and nine. This is a scripture. Hey, this is the. This right here is coming to pass right now, man. This scripture right here. This is the end of Esau's rulership, man. That's it. That's all for him, man. So he gonna come, come with his wrath, but the Lord is gonna lift up a standard, man. You know. So let's get uh second address six and nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." So after this rulership. That Esau's ruling now. Jacob got next. The Lord's chosen people got next to rule. And they're going to rule. We're going to rule in righteousness forever. Forever, ever. You know? So, so, hey, this is what you should be looking forward to, man. The kingdom of heaven. All right? So yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it, man. Uh I'll end it off with this one. Galatians one and I'll read start off with three. It says, Grace be to you and peace from the most high, the Father, and from our Lord Yahweh Shah. Mashiach, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of the most high power, Yahweh, our father. So, hey, the Lord is about to come and deliver us from this present evil world. That's what we want. That's what we want, man. That's what you should want. If you're righteous. And a uh, man of the Lord, you that's this is what you want, man, is to be delivered out of this evil present world that we live in, here, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word of truth, sincerity. And always in charity. Barack of Thumb, Akiyam. We almost out this hellhole. Let's keep pushing and endure to the end. Shalom.